Power. What is power? Power is the rate at which work is done. Given by the formula P equals W over T, where P is power measured in watts, and W is work, which is measured in joules, and T is time, which is measured in seconds. Okay, So although an object, we can calculate what work the work done on an object, all right, sometimes you want to know what is the power. Uh, in the sport of bodybuilding, there is a um, separate sport or sport within bodybuilding called powerlifting, okay, because although we can calculate how much work uh, the bodybuilder is exerting on uh, the weight, we want to know how much power does he also use in order to lift the weight, okay, and uh, Therefore, the more work you do, the more power that you increase. All right. So, in other words, if your power increases, okay, if your time decreases, that means your power will increase. Okay. In other words, if you lift the weight a little bit more, faster, okay, then your power will increase. All right. And if your power increases, all right, that or if your strength increases, you are doing less work because you're stronger. So the if your W decreases, your power also increases. All right. So in other words, the amount of work that you put on an object, if that decreases, your power will increase as well. So let's have a look at an example over here. An example, uh, a young boy with a mass of 60 kilograms runs to the top of a three meter high flight of stairs. If he takes 10 seconds to reach the top of the stairs while starting from rest, and traveling at a speed of 3 meters per second to the top, calculate the power output of the boy. All right, so first step here, we first analyze our question. We see that they tell us the mass of the boy is 60 kilograms. All right, so let's go ahead and let's draw our, oh, where we go, there we are, our margin. Okay, I'll make my pen size a little bit thicker so everybody can see. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, so let's make our pen size a little bit bigger, which I have. They tell us the mass here is 60 kilograms of the boy. We know he started from rest, so my VI is 0 meters per second. They tell me that he's traveling at 3 meters per second, so I'm just going to denote it at V as V. That's his speed. Okay, I'm also going to, they tell us, oh, the height is equal to 3 meters Okay, and they want the power output of uh, the boy. If we go have a look back at the question, just to make, oh, we left out one thing, and that is 10. The time taken is 10, all right? So T is supposed to go here, but I'll just write it underneath here. It doesn't matter. All right, 10 seconds. All right, so we know um, we need to calculate the power of the boy. So we know the formula for power in this example. I'm just going to label it as example. Okay. We know P from the formula is W over T. Now, we don't have W, all right? We have to calculate W first. Right. So, what we know, all right, for W, okay, we're going to calculate W on this side, is W is equal to EK plus EP. Now, at the bottom of the stairs, there is no uh, kinetic energy because VI is zero, all right? So we only have EKF, all right? And we only have EPF as well because at the bottom of the stairs, there is no height, okay? So to calculate work, all right, just going to separate it over here, just to calculate work over here, work, all right, is equal to half MVF squared, plus MGH, all right? Now, half of the mass is 63 squared plus 60 times 9, comma 8 times 3, all right? And that gives us an answer of, I'm going to punch it in on my calculator, actually, that equals 
2034 joules. Plugging it back into our power formula, P equals uh, 2034 joules, and we need to divide that by the time, which was 10 seconds. Therefore, the power output of the boy who is traveling at 3 meters per second uh, up a flight of stairs, which is 3 meters high, is equal to 203,4 watts. Okay, now I prefer to write out watts in words just be just in case the marker doesn't get confused. All right, by me saying, oh wait, is he saying work? Is he saying what? So I just prefer to write out watts, okay? But W is its unit of measurement, okay? And that is our answer for the first example. Okay, perfect. All right, wonderful. Let's go have a look at a second example. This one's a very easy one, straightforward. I'm sorry, just before we go on and before we um, have a look at um, the next example, I must just uh, include this part here. This is 270, all right, plus that is 1764, sorry. All right, so when looking at this, okay, we can see uh, how do we read it when we quote our final answer, although we know that the power output is. 203,4 watts, we need to have a look that the kinetic energy of the boy was only 270 joules, while his potential energy was 1,764 joules, which means that he only does 1,764 joules worth of work to get up the stairs, but only requires 270 joules to increase his kinetic energy up the 3 meter flight of stairs, which yields a 203,4 power outage of the boy. Okay, let's have a look at this example. All right, so the example reads, an Olympic sprinter of mass 75 kilograms is capable of reaching a speed of 10 meters per second from rest. And there's a mistake in that question. It's supposed to read from rest in 3,5 seconds. Calculate the average power output of the sprinter's leg muscles, okay? Now, I must uh, first share with you what is the formula for average power, okay? okay? So they want the average power of the sprinter, which is equivalent to the force, all right, multiplied by the average velocity. All right, so what do we have here? The mass is equal to 75 kilograms. We also have that the, we also have that the uh, velocity was 10 meters per second. We also know that the time was equivalent to the time was equivalent to 3,5 uh, seconds, and they want the average power. Okay. Well, we don't have a a a force over here that we can use. We don't have a force over here that we can use. Okay, because even even from even from our work formula. All right, if we had to use this formula, P equals W over T, we know that P is equal to F delta X, all right, cos theta, all right, all over T. Now, cos theta here, uh, the force is in the same direction of motion because he's sprinting forward, so we have P is just equal to F delta X over T. So we're not even sure what is his delta x at this point, okay? All we have is his velocity, okay? All we have is his velocity. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to calculate what the force is, okay? Well, in this question, we know that acceleration on this side, okay? Let me just draw a line underneath here. And another one up top here. We know that acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. Okay, so we know that the acceleration here is equal to 10 minus 0, all right, all over 3,5 seconds, all right, therefore the acceleration is equal to 
meters per second squared. Okay, so now that we have the acceleration, we can go calculate what the force is. So F is equal to mass times acceleration, remember from Newton's laws. All right, so F in this equation is equal to the 75 kilograms multiplied by the 2,86, all right, meters per second. And we get a force, quite a big force, of 214,26 newtons. All right. Now, if we come and if we sub it into our p average formula, all right, I'm just going to erase all this. All right, we raise into our p average formula. Okay, we have the force, which is 214,26 newtons, multiplied by the velocity, which is 10 meters per second. All right, we therefore get an average power, p average, is equal to quite a big average power of 2,142,86. All right, comma, 86 watts. All right, comma, 86 watts, or newtons per second. All right, that's also a formula for power in this equation, but we'll stick to watts for now. Okay, the reason why I say newtons per second, because the force is measured in newtons and the velocity is measured in meters per second. So I make, actually made a little bit of a mistake there. It's supposed to be newtons. Ah, let's make a bigger, better N. It's supposed to be newtons per meters per second. All right. Okay, and that was the example. Okay, that was the final answer for average power there. Okay, for that example. All right, in the next video, we'll have a look at another examples as well as a few more.